1990 I got here and it was, well, this was the heroin capital of the inner west, I mean I'd grown up down the road in Newtown and Dulwich was the place you didn't go through, you know if I used to go watch Newtown play I'd, you'd go by Sydney and you'd never come by Dulwich Hill because it's too dangerous. You know when we started here I went around and I asked people, shopkeepers, everybody, you know what's the biggest problem in the area and they all said the kids got nothing to do after school so we, we were situation then as now really land rich and cash poor. whole it was in this area guys who were doing drugs and guys who were overdosing and guys who were doing the breaking and and rolls and guys who were suiciding. Our emphasis has never been on fighting as such. I mean the emphasis has been on, sure we want to make people better fighters but we're more interested in seeing them become better human beings. If they become a better fighter it's a bonus. serious about it going through my own divorce so it was really going through uh, my own marriage breakdown and finding that the fight training became a form of therapy for myself and um, yeah I mean there was times I was quite well I was quite suicidal at points and um, uh, you know I remember I was drinking myself to sleep at nights and thinking I can see where this is going you know and I thought, what else do I enjoy doing? Well, I enjoy training and um, ended up becoming a professional boxer instead of an alcoholic. So, um, which was, so you probably lose about the same number of brain cells, but <laughs> I think it was probably still a good trade off. Uh, I'm thinking, don't tell me the good Lord's got something in mind for Syria. You know, the political issues here are complex, you know, and in a sense that door is not, I'm not going to try and bang on that door, but the back door of religion and sport look wide open, and I think we could do some really positive things at a grassroots level, maybe bringing, uh, you know, white Australian people and Syrian people trying to build some sort of bridge of understanding and communication, uh, and using sport as a platform to do that, and I think, you know, I think of the role boxing's played before in, in say, in South Africa in bringing black and white people together, or in, in Northern Ireland in terms of building bridges between uh, warring factions there, and I thought, yeah, well, boxing, uh, maybe we can do it in Syria. My angle, and not just in terms of thinking of Syria, but in terms of thinking particularly about uh, relationships between Christian and Muslim communities in Australia and places like that, uh, Getting people, say, getting physical with each other in boxing is just a very human way of, of building uh, relationships. I mean, the other great way is just having meals together. You know, I think there's a saying in Arabic which translates something like, how can we be enemies if we've broken bread together? You know what I mean? I think that's been the key for us, I and mean, thinking us, our, our parish church, with uh, in building relationships say, with local Shia community, it just means we've had meals together. You know, when you start eating with each other, you start there's something very fundamentally human about that, that sort of thing, the sort of uh, male subconscious, the red hairy man that sort of can come out in, in nasty and violent ways. And uh, I think the goal for my angle is to try and tap into that sort of that sort of aggressive energy and instead of trying to just repress it, actually learn to channel it and, and uh, nurture it and control it and, and direct it somewhere positive. And if you can't learn to control your emotions while you're being hit, you can't win a fight. And uh, so it becomes a training ground, I think, for being able to, to um, uh, get hold of those aggressive impulses and, and learn to get them under control. Uh, yeah, and it's, this is why I think, I always say by the time we get a guy to the side of the ring for his first amateur fight, he's not doing drugs, he's not in trouble with the law anymore, he's back at school, you know, parents are saying, oh my God, you know, what you do, you know, you're fantastic. I say, it's not me, it's the program, it's boxing, you know, it works. Maybe because I made some level of effort to understand, uh, and I've had the privilege of being exposed and to enough and having enough friends within the Islamic community to have some level of understanding what it must be like uh, in this day and age in this country, and it's not not a good situation to be in. 
I mean, from my angle, that's a fantastic opportunity because this is what Christian people are supposed to be doing, joining hands with uh, uh, people who are in this situation. This is our calling, you know, why aren't we all doing it? Thank you.